Indiana Jones 5, what to do. Indiana Jones 5 should be releasing in cinemas in July 2022 after having many pushbacks. Filming should begin in 2021, so I thought I'd throw some ideas out there and also some things the film must have to succeed and match the first three films, not making the same mistakes as the fourth. First of all, lots of fans complained about the intro to Indiana Jones 4. There were no indie fight scenes like in the first three films. It just started off with some random people, like having a race with some Russians. Indiana Jones 5 should really start off with a fight scene, or just with like indie somewhere, it should just start with Indiana Jones. This film can't really follow the structure of don't believe in it because I haven't seen it. The first four films follow this structure. At the start of the film, he doesn't believe in spirits or aliens, and by the end, he's seen it for his son, so he really does believe in it. But he's seen aliens, so he should really believe in anything, so they can't really follow that structure. If at the start of this film he said, oh yeah, I don't believe in that, then it don't really make sense, do you know what I mean? In this film, don't mention the aliens. In this film, there should be little to no mention of the past film, except Mutt or Marion. If aliens have to be mentioned, it should be a throwaway line such as, I've seen aliens, like using a comedic way. It's not like poking fun at the fourth film or something. Obviously it should be more realistic this time, it should have been searched for an, like, an earth-based artifact that seems realistic. Talking about realistic, there should be minimal CGI, basically none. They could use it when Indy's fighting to make it look more believable, but no swinging monkeys please. They can use it when he's fating to make it look more believable, and we don't want it to look like Irish man, do we? I think they should bring Short Round back. They brought Marion back, so why not Short Round? Why not make him villain in this one? Make it so he feels like Indy just abandoned him after Temple of Doom. And now he seeks revenge by taking rare artifacts and selling them to USA's enemies at the time. Russia and Vietnamese people. If we're bringing back Short Round, we might as well bring back Salah. Have him on some camels singing songs for all our care. I just want to see him in this film. Maybe they could focus the story more on Indy's age. Make this film about how like Indy's grew as a person and he uses his knowledge and experience to outwit the enemy who's searching for the artifact. They should also make it so that Indy is the first person searching for his artifact. I didn't like in how Indy 4, Oxley had already been for all booby traps and knew how to get through. It should be Indiana Jones doing this, exploring it for his sin. So, the ending. A lot of fans have been suggesting that Indy should die in this film, which would follow a similar style to the film Logan. Coincidentally, the person who directed Logan is James Mangold, and he has just taken over producing Indy 5 from Steven Spielberg. So does it mean that Indy's going to die in this film? It'd be a great ending if done correctly, but if not, it might not work and it might be too dark. In conclusion, Indiana Jones 5 should be the final chapter in the Indiana Jones series. It shouldn't try to pass on the torch like Indy 4 did, as really, all we want to see is Indy, not anybody else. The story should revolve around Indy's age so it works and we so we don't get another Irishman fight scene. The artifact he is looking for should be more realistic than Aliens and go back to being spiritual like the first three films, and Indy should face a number of challenges whilst searching for it, for example, booby traps. And that's basic things I want to see in Indiana Jones 5. I think that's what would make it a good film. Obviously some of these you might disagree with, so let me know in comments. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.